Hey, good afternoon, JCPS. Happy Friday. I know it's been a challenging week for everybody, including me. Thought I had experienced just about everything as a superintendent in my two and a half years, but clearly that's not the case. This is a first one for me. Um, and clearly uh, a lot of work has gone into this from everybody at central office to schools, staff. I can't thank everybody enough for the incredible work that has been done to make sure that we have a great culture and support for students. I know we have a lot of nervous students, staff, and families uh, during this challenging time, um, but there is no doubt that the JCPS community has come together to support our kids, and I can't thank you enough for that. On to a little information that you've probably heard by now, but I want to share and clarify some things. As you know, starting on Monday, we will be out of school for the next three weeks. So we have spring break at the back end of that, and we have nine uh, school days uh, that we will not be in session um, over the next two weeks. Um, and so March 27th was already scheduled for a day off. So the next three weeks we will be not in session. I know it's difficult at this time of year to have students away for three weeks, but our number one responsibility is to make sure that we're supporting our staff and most importantly our students um, and supporting health and safety is number one for all of us. Um, I want to also uh, let everybody know that at this time we're scheduled to come back on Monday, April 6th. But as we know, this is a very fluid situation. We'll have to monitor that situation over the coming weeks, communicate with families. There is a distinct possibility that that could extend beyond April 6th. Uh, we will be in communication with the Metro Health Department, the State Health Department, the Mayor and the Governor's Office uh, to figure out what's best to continue with safety. Um, I never thought a week ago when we were talking about this that we would be in the place we are now. So things are changing rapidly. We will monitor that. We know we'll be out till at least April 6th, and it could extend beyond that. But we will be communicating with families in the weeks to come about any progress or changes um, that occur. We also want families to know that we are sending home today with students work that can be completed over the three weeks. That work, which is really project-based and engages students and it's linked to Kentucky standards, are great opportunities for students to continue their learning while they're not in school. So whether it's packets that are sent home or I'd highly encourage the work online that's available in student backpacks, I want everyone to know that work is optional. It is not mandatory, but I would encourage families to have their students do some of that work each day to support learning as we move forward. Currently, our last day of school is June 10th. I believe I said June 11th last night at my press conference, but I want to reiterate the actual date is June 10th. I apologize for that error. Um, in JCPS, we actually uh, go more minutes than is required uh, by state statute. Uh, so I will be asking our board in the near future when we can have a board meeting uh, to forgive four of those days. Uh, if they approve that, which I believe they will, our last day of school would then be June 4th. But we are also asking our legislators to continue to work with us so that we won't have to go to school in June. That would require legislation. Um, and that's an ongoing process right now. Um, and we're talking with legislators um, all the time to encourage that work, not just for JCPS, but for all school districts across the Commonwealth. Um, finally, we have applied for NTI days. As I said last night, we will not be using that um, unless it, it becomes an emergency because we have so many uh, students of ours who have uh, uh, issues accessing uh, Wi-Fi and uh, devices at home. Uh, so we will be working on that plan in the near future, but I can't say that we're definitely gonna be using that for now. Um, these nine days will be made up at the end of the year minus the four that I talked about. So hopefully that clarifies a lot of issues. Most importantly, over the next three weeks, we want you to stay safe, safe students and staff um, we'll be thinking about you and uh, making sure that we support you in every way possible. We'll be in contact over the next three weeks to, to let families know and staff know of any potential changes to our plan. Once again, thanks for all you do, JCPS staff. I can't thank you enough for your support of our students. Stay safe out there and have a great three weeks.